Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to install FY71 Enabler for single player and I'm also going to explain how to edit the equipment packs so that you do not have to replace the SCAR or the SCARB. Um, first thing I want to note is the reason I did not put the I did not fix the original FY71 and decided to replace the SCAR and the SCARB is because I feel that it may throw off the balance of the game because the way that you have to give it to yourself is you have to edit your equipment packs. Now when you edit an equipment pack what that does is it changes your default weapon loadout so that you will all whenever you spawn on a new level you will automatically have the FY71 so you're automat it's basically just going to disrupt the original game flow of the game so that's why I didn't enable that originally <coughs> but I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to do it either way. First things first, here's the download here of the FY71 enabler. So you're gonna go ahead and go to my computer, local disk C, program files x86, and then you're gonna look for Electronic Arts, Crytek, Crisis 2, and then you're gonna come down here to the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you probably don't have the SDK installed, or you're not up to patch 1.9. Um, I'm not sure how soon of a patch supports mods, but um, 1.9 is what I'm currently using. So go ahead and go into your mods folder there. And now go ahead, you can either do it like me, you can drag the FY71 folder straight into the mods. So now we're in, as you can see up here, Crisis 2 mods FY71. And you're going to go ahead, well the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit the equipment pack. So we can close this now. So I'm going to go into the Game Crisis 2 folder, and then I'm going to go into Libraries, Equipment Packs. Now, let's go ahead and open up Roosevelt here. Where is it? It's probably right in front of me. There it is. Mission underscore Roosevelt.xml. <coughs> now you're going to see here you start with a Nova, Grindle, Frag Grenades, Binoculars. That's about it. Well, let's say you didn't want the Grindle and you wanted the FY71. You just type FY71. <coughs> and then you're going to go to File Save. And that is essentially how you edit an equipment pack. Now, beyond that, you can actually add things if you know the proper names for them. They're not that hard to get, but if you've never modded before, it can be a little confusing. So if you wanted a silencer, you would do that. If you wanted a an assault scope, you would do that etc. Now, <clears throat> they are case sensitive, so if you type assault scope without a capital A or capital S, you will not get assault scope. But that's basically how that works. So that's how you edit an equipment pack, and you can essentially do that for every mission, as you see here, warehouse, Times Square, the flood. Now all these start out with different weapons. So that's how you do that. Now, if you don't if you do decide to edit the equipment pack to start with an FY71 instead of replacing the SCAR or the SCARB, let's go ahead and go back here. Let's go back to Game Crisis 2, Scripts, Entities, Items, Crisis 2, Weapons, Humans. If you don't want it to replace the Cell, SCARB, or the SCARB, you can simply just delete those. Now you will only have the fixed FY71 and edit the equipment packs and you will have it. So I hope this helps explain that a little bit, but hopefully it helps explain why I didn't actually originally enable it because I feel it will offset the balance of the game. Because by no means am I a judge of how it should be set, so hopefully this helps.